In this documentary, I'm going to show you how to graph uh, multiple data sets on the same graph. Um, this documentary really goes with our lab where we're determining the relationship between the position of a toy buggy and the time during its motion. So what I've got here is I've got my independent variable of time down the left side here, the first column, and I've got my dependent variable position in the next column over. And normally we would just graph those two columns and it would make a, you know, a scatter plot with one data set. But since I have collected another data set of position, I'm going to put that in a third column. And to graph both of those, I'm simply going to select all three columns rather than just the two. Uh, Google Sheets interprets the first one as your independent, like we're used to. The second one is a dependent. And if there's another one, it just determines it as another dependent um, data set, which is exactly what we want. So select them, do insert chart like you're used to, and choose scatter. Plot the points, you can see the trends there. Um, and then if we go to customization, or I can get here through advanced edit if you are used to doing it that way. Let's fit a trend line to those. Um, if you look here, the series we have selected right now is scenario one. It's the blue dots down here. Let's fit a trend line to that, a linear one, since it does look to be pretty linear. And let's use the equation like we're used to doing so we can see that equation show up here in the legend. Now I'll do the same thing for the red. It looks pretty linear as well. So let's slide up and choose scenario two. See, now we're talking about the red data points. That looks linear, so let's fit a line to that. And let's use the equation as our label in the legend. There's our graph showing two different data sets, scenario one in blue, scenario two in red. That allows us to visually uh, compare two different scenarios, investigating the same relationship in both cases. Good luck.